And where would you like this massacre to take place? We have some that look like that, they're poisonous. Beautiful sunset. Hey, Mr. Otter, come over. Yeah, you're the boss, huh? Yeah. The whales are popping up left and right. Ketchikan was the northernmost point of our journey, so now that we picked up John's wife Shelly there, we are on our way back to Campbell River. Since we had seen some bears in Kainok Inlet on our way up, we headed back there in the hope to see them again. Okay, since we got these lovely fish heads from James from uh, Ketchikan Bar Harbor, um, Harbor Master, we're gonna try and catch some crab now. And this is the little trap here. So we're gonna tie one of these, obviously outside the ziplock, into the trap and let it down, and then put a little buoy on it. Buoy. Boy, boy. I think it's what, 30 feet depth, more or less? 35? 30. 30. Gonna dinghy out and drop the baby and then pick it up tomorrow and see what we have. And where would you like this massacre to take place? Uh, in your cockpit or maybe out on deck or? Probably not in the cockpit. <laughs> That's how you catch crab. We're not, I think I have to take that line up a little bit because it's just floating around. It's back there somewhere. John, what did we catch? Dungeness uh, crab. We caught a Dungeness crab and John is gonna show you how to prep them for your meal. Two back ones, that way they can't get a hold of you. And you want to stun them first. Oops. Oh. That stunned them. Okay. And then, and you would crack it open. We caught a bunch of crabs at night, of which you're only allowed to keep the male ones, by the way. And the next day we carried on to Shearwater Marina to stock up on food a little bit and then to head down further south to Pruth Bay. Ready for the weather? Always. <laughs> We've got the serious rain gear out. Just around the corner is Pruce Bay. We're anchored in the south because the bay is pretty packed. Well, they seem to have a little research center here on the island, like a marine biology research center. And they have some beautiful trails to some beaches and we're going to go on the West Beach Trail which is probably pretty short to the other side because there's a nice beautiful beach over there. And the sun just came out and I think it's going to be beautiful. Ringelblum! My mom used to have these in the garden. So this is Proof Bay. We were anchored here I believe. Uh, we came around, we anchored here and dingied over here, and now we're gonna walk this way to this pretty beach. So. 
and see who dares to go for a swim. Ooh, fancy pants. Looks pretty nice. We have some that look like that, they're poisonous. <laughs> Fuglbeeren, I think they're called bird, bird... Um, do they get, do the birds get drunk? On them? I don't know, but if you eat them, they're poisonous for humans, I think. Oh my goodness. These are huckleberries? These are huckleberries, yeah. What are you doing up there in the tree, huh? Ooh, you find yourself a yummy mushroom. we kept traveling south to the Walker Group in the middle of Queen Charlotte Strait. The whales are popping up left and right. One of, one of them just popped up probably like a couple of meters from our starboard side. And he was going across, so we had to stop pretty fast. Come on, Mr. Otter! Come back up! Come on! Hey, Mr. Otter, come over! Buddy! <laughs> come here, little buddy! Here. Yeah, come cool. on, yeah, hang out a little bit. Oh my god, he's so funny now, he's like back paddling. sunset and now there is a full moon rising just in front of us it's just coming out of the cloud and it's picture perfect it's getting a little dark though and there's lots of logs so I'm on log duty up in the bow because we're a little late today because we did some land exploring and um, we stopped for a couple of whales and otters on the way. But, oh, uh, it's so beautiful. One neighbor in our bay, this guy here. He had some pretty little blue disco lights on <laughs> last night when we came in. As pretty as it was yesterday night to arrive with the moon, the anchorage here in the Walker Group was really kelpy. And luckily it was a really quiet night. And I woke up this morning because I heard like a little crunch, 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 crunch. And I look out of my porthole and there was a little sea otter. Oh, he was munching on something super cute, but it's still really foggy and uh, dead calm. So I think we're up for a second coffee and then uh, head further down south. 
we've been sailing through quite some thick fog since this morning when we left um, the bay in the walker group and now the fog is lifting a little bit it's really pretty you can still see us through here 2.63 knots of wind and we're on our way to the Bratons There are a lot of logs around here, big ones, and that's all the fog that we just came out of. Shelly's on the lookout for doll's porpoises. This bay here is called Let Her Rest in Peace. It's like a beautiful last resting spot. fairly early in the Broughton and it's a stunning anchor bay with tons of tiny little islands so I lowered the dinghy and went for a little row in the pretty evening sun. Water splashing there? I was back just in time for sunset and the next morning we lifted up anchor to move to Port Neville. What are you eating, Shelly? Crab chowder. Mm. Dungeness crab chowder. Delicious, see? Self caught. Self caught, self cleaned. Wow. Ooh. You caught, you killed, I cleaned. Nice. <laughs> Where are we? Blackfish Sound. Listening to the uh, sea lions arguing. Oh my gosh, and look at them. <laughs> Seriously, guys? Yeah, you're the boss, huh? Yep. Persistence is dancing her way through the crazy currents. Wow, well, that is quite some crazy current. The birds are loving it for sure. Oh look, there's a little weather station. That's a nice spot for a house. Yay. Port Neville, I think it's called, or Neville. Looks a little calm in there. Which is good because it's been blowing like 30, 35 in the middle of the channel. So, going in here for a little bit of protection. Our last leg of the journey was from Port Neville back to Campbell River where John and Shelley parked Persistence for a short while before taking her back home to Bainbridge. Well, we are just before Campbell River, about to go into the marina. Our little five week trip from Seattle up to Ketchikan and back down to Campbell River is over, nearly over. It's the final countdown. One more little docking and uh, then off to the pub. It's been a super 
pretty amazing time here on Persistence and I enjoyed British Columbia and the little bits that I've seen of Alaska tremendously. It was really beautiful and I'm super grateful for this opportunity that uh, John and Shelley have given me to come up and cruise here. It was really beautiful. Yeah. So if you guys ever need crew and go to some nice places, let me know. <laughs> Crew's clean and ready for the pub. Thank you, Persistence. That was a lovely ride. You did very well. Thanks for bringing us home safely. You guys had a good trip? Yes, yes we, we have. Had, we thank you, <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> Lots of learnings. <laughs> Keep your spirits up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much, John and Shelley, for this amazing trip in the Pacific Northwest. It was a breathtaking journey, and I will always be grateful that you have given me this opportunity. Well, time to catch a plane and head south, but more about that next week. <laughs>